Hey, what's up guys, RKMFX here. This is one of those rare videos, where I'll show you how to make a cinematic lightning logo reveal intro in After Effects. If you want to see more After Effects template, and tutorials let me know by liking and commenting on this video. So first let's have a look at what we are going to create today. First, you'll need a few things to get started on this project. Get the free Saber plugin by Video Copilot. I have put link in the description of the video for all the necessary project files. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Once you have downloaded the project files import them into the After Effects. Now drag your logo on the new composition icon. Drag the logo comp again into the logo composition. Change composition settings as shown on screen. I'll use 2560 by 1080 resolution at 30 frames per second. Set duration to 10 seconds and hit OK. Change logo to composition name to logo comp. Select the logo comp and go to layer and auto trace. Uncheck the apply to a new layer box and make sure all the values are the same as shown on the screen then hit OK. If you can't see the mask then click the mask icon under the preview window. For now I'll hide the mask. Now add the Sather effect to the layer. Change preset to the arc reactor, or pick whatever preset and color you like. Change the core type to the layer mask. Now we'll create the animation using end offset. Create a keyframe at 0 seconds with the end offset at 100%. And then move to around 4 seconds and change the end offset to 50%. Set the start offset to 100%. Duplicate the layer with Ctrl plus D. Change color to the red. Set composition settings to transparent. Set both start offset and end offset to 0%. You can change the start size percent to decrease or increase the glow. Drag logo comp into new comp and make sure all the settings are correct. Rename the composition to the main comp. Now drag and drop storm, particles, light flare, and rain footage into the timeline, and adjust the scale by pressing S on your keyboard. Duplicate the storm layer and cover the whole timeline. Set the blending mode of all these layers to add. Use the toggle switch on the bottom and change all the layers to 3D. Now we'll create an aisle and a camera. Then link null to the camera. Go to the camera transform and create keyframes for both point of interest and position. Hit you on the keyboard to hide other properties. 
you can use the same values as my camera properties, or experiment and come up with your own. Set the point of interest X, Y, and Z, to 1280, 446 and 141 respectively. and set position to around 1170, 1190, and minus 651. Go to around 35 frames and change X to 1293, Y to 1633, and Z to minus 669. We forgot to change the keyframe graph in the logo comp earlier so go back to logo comp. Select top layer expand to customize core and go to end offset keyframes. Press F9 to easy ease the keyframes. Select both keyframes and click on graph editor. And right click to select speed graph. Highlight the graph and set it to same as mine. Follow the same procedure for the bottom logo layer as well. Move forward 5 to 6 frames and set point of interest to 834, 501, and minus 3. And position to minus 19.9, 503, and minus 806. Go to around 3 seconds and change point of interest to 1401, 501, and minus 3 and set position to 925, 527, and minus 725. Go ahead a few frames, and change point of interest to 1676, 543 and 34. Set position to 1817, 609, and minus 1048. Jump to around 4 seconds and 15 frames, then change position to 2480, 690, and minus 1040. Jump 5 to 6 frames again, and set point of interest to default 1280, 540 and 0, and position to 1296, 1129, and minus 1040. Go to around 8 seconds, then change position to 1280, 540, and minus 2660. And then jump to the last frame of the composition, and change set to minus 2860. Change the last frame to easy ease, by pressing F9 on your keyboard. Now create a new black solid, and name it Fade 1. And apply Fade, Dip to Black transition to it. Press U to show keyframes, and go to around 23 frames. And drag the first keyframe there. Then go to 1 second and 18 frames, and move the second keyframe there. You might need to adjust the keyframe positions according to your project. Now go to the 1 second and 5 frames. And select fade 1 layer go to edit. Then split layer and delete the top layer. Create another black solid and name it Fade 2. Move the Fade 2 layer start position to the end of the Fade 1 layer, and apply Fade, Dip to Black transition as well, and press U to adjust keyframe positions. This time we need to move the second keyframe, ahead of the first keyframe at the beginning of the layer, and move the first keyframe to around 1 second and 25 frames.
Now in the effects control tab create a keyframe for opacity at the start of the fade to layer. Press U on the fade to layer to adjust the opacity keyframes. Change the first keyframe to 100%, and create another keyframe 10 frames ahead, and set the opacity to 0%. Now duplicate fade 1 layer by pressing Ctrl plus D, and rename it to fade 3, and move it above the fade 2 layer. Change the start position of fade 3 layer, at the camera keyframes positions shown in the video, and extend its ending position as well matching with camera keyframes position on the timeline. Now duplicate Fade 2 layer, rename it to Fade 4, and move it above the Fade 3 layer. And place its starting position right where Fade 3 layer ends. Duplicate Fade 3 layer, it should be named Fade 5 automatically, if not then rename it Fade 5 and move it above the Fade 4 layer. And duplicate Fade 4 layer one more time, and name it Fade 6, then move it above Fade 5 layer. Change Fade 5 and Fade 6 layers position as shown. Preview the project. This looks fine to me. Now we will add lighting effects onto the project. You can download the lighting footage from the link in the video description for free from the footagecrate.com. Import the lighting footage into the project. Add lighting to your comp as you wish, but make sure to make them 3D as well. Make an adjustment layer, and add curves to it, and adjust according to your liking. And now our lightning intro is complete. If you liked this video make sure to hit the thumbs up button, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.